What's up guys, I'm Cooper Carter and this is the brand new FM3 Mark II Turbo from Fractal Audio Systems. <laughs> I am thrilled to present to you the new FM3 Mark II Turbo from Fractal. If I hold up the Mark I next to it, you'll see that the first main difference is readily apparent, namely that the Mark II features much larger LCD displays above each of the three foot switches. These are the same larger LCDs that you'll find on the FC12 and FC6 Mark IIs, and they are just a huge upgrade in terms of visibility and usability when the FM3 is on the floor on stage. But the second and perhaps more exciting upgrade for many players lies beneath the hood of the Mark II Turbo, a brand new CPU chip that boasts 10% more processing horsepower. For many players, transferring presets between the Axe FX3, the FM9, and the FM3, that extra 10% may be the difference between having to compromise one or two blocks to fit a preset into the FM3 and simply bringing the preset over wholesale. Maybe you're trying to fit a pitch block into a live preset to use the virtual capo, or perhaps you want to add an extra drive block to a preset. The Mark II Turbo can make that possible. Like with all of Fractal's upgrades, what we're getting here are more tonal possibilities available to us as preset creators, tone chasers, and players. European customers can join the waitlist now by emailing waitlist at g66.eu with units expected to ship in August. Anybody already on the FM3 waitlist will automatically be transferred to the waitlist for the Mark II Turbo. Inside of the Mark II Turbo, you'll find all of the same capabilities that you've come to love on the Mark I. Over 300 beautifully realized amp models running the gamut from vintage to modern to boutique amps, each driven by Fractal's industry-leading amp modeling algorithms. All of the amps can be dialed in using either authentic controls that correspond to the real-world counterparts, or you can switch over to the ideal page for unprecedented levels of tone shaping. You can pick from over 2,000 cabinet impulse responses, or IRs, modeling a huge array of microphone and cabinet combinations. Plus, you'll get over 1,000 empty user IR spots to populate with your own IRs that you've captured or third-party IRs that you've purchased. Like all Fractal products, the FM3 boasts dozens of classic and modern effects, including over 60 drives, distortions, and fuzzes, 60-plus reverbs, delays, echoes, plex delays, and multi-delays. You'll find an entire suite of world-class compressors and other dynamics processors, tremolos, wah-wah pedals, whammy pedals, modulation effects like chorus, vibrato, flanger, phaser, rotary, pitch shifting effects like the ever-popular virtual capo, harmonizers, arpeggiators. You can shape your tone with razor-sharp precision using a variety of filters and EQs, and of course, the FM3 boasts a fully featured 120-second looper. The FM3 integrates seamlessly with the FC6 and FC12 foot controllers, as well as with Fractal's EV1 and 2 foot pedals, giving you an incredible amount of foot control. But intuitive tap and hold functions, plus the ingenious layout system in the FM3, means that three buttons may be all you need. The FM3 is also a fully featured audio device featuring 4-in, 4-out USB audio. So all you need to record, reamp, or jam along with tracks is the FM3, a computer, and a USB cable. All of these features are easy to access, set up, and customize on the full color display or by using Fractal's world-class desktop editor, FM3 Edit. Beginners can easily and quickly set up presets and craft tones, and expert tweakers can dial in sounds with unheard of levels of precision. The FM3 also includes 384 beautifully designed factory presets for plug and play. 
The first 100 or so are an amplifier showcase that'll take you on a tour of the history of electric guitar. And of course, there are plenty of empty preset slots for you to build your own. All of this inside the world's most compact, most powerful, most rugged floor unit for the studio and stage. But if you're already familiar with Fractal, you probably know all of that. And the larger LCDs really speak for themselves. So let's take a quick look at just how much we can get out of that extra 10% of CPU inside the Mark II Turbo. So here I've imported my current 2023 live preset for the AxeFX 3 and the FM9 into my FM3 Mark I. And as you can see, we're getting a CPU limit exceeded warning here. And if I play, I have no sound. In this preset, I do have seven different scenes, each of which is a very different sound, but there are several blocks in this preset that aren't actually turned on in any of these given scenes. They are just there as flavor or as special effects that I like to use live. And so I can strip some blocks out of this preset and still keep the seven core sounds. For example, this pitch block here is one of my favorite tools to use live. On channel A, I have the virtual capo, which allows me to tune down a half step instantly so I don't need to bring out another guitar for one tune in the set. And then on channel B, I have a 12 string guitar emulator so that I don't have to bring out a 12 string. Now this is really nice to have, but the pitch block is a very expensive block, so I'm gonna go ahead and shunt that. Likewise, the rotary I use as a special effect sparingly. It's one of my favorite effects, but it's not part of these sounds. I can shunt that as well. I'm gonna shunt the panner tremolo because again, it's not part of the core sounds. And finally, I'm going to get rid of this flanger because we are right on the edge and I'm still getting a warning. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. So I've gotten rid of a lot of blocks, but we're now sitting at a comfortable 79%. And again, I've only gotten rid of blocks that are extra. They are not actually part of any of the sounds in this preset that I've designed for live use. But let's switch over to the FM3 Mark II Turbo and see how we do there with 10% more CPU power. So here's the same preset now in the Mark II Turbo, and as you can see, our CPU is much lower. So by far the most desirable block that I want to have back in this preset is my pitch block. So let's go ahead and add that back in. And now I have my virtual capo. <laughs> And let's go ahead and see if we can get this panner tremolo back in as well. And we can, so now I have my beautiful tremolo. And we're at a comfortable 80%. And of course, if I weren't playing a song during my set that needed either the 12 string or the half step down effect, I could shunt the pitch block and get back my flanger here. So let's add the flanger in. I'll go ahead and route it up here. We've got the stereo jet flanger back, and if I go up to my ODS lead scene here, which is where I usually use the flanger, we can hear that it sounds absolutely killer. <laughs> Or maybe I want to add a second drive pedal to the preset so that I can get some new textures out of stacking different drives. With this extra 10%, I can really explore a lot of different options with this one live preset that originally would not have been open to me on the Mark I. I am incredibly excited about the FM3 Mark II Turbo. The larger LCDs really are a game changer on stage, uh, and I have pretty good eyesight, so I can only imagine how much this is gonna be a help for people who don't. And the extra 10% CPU really has sealed the deal on my live preset, and I'm excited to flesh out some more presets and see just how much I can get out of this unit. I do hope you guys check out the new FM3 Mark II Turbo. If you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to G66's channel. And as always, if you guys wanna get the absolute most out of your Fractal Audio Systems unit, whether that's the AxeFX 3, the FM9, or the new FM3 Mark II Turbo, make sure to visit classes.coopercarter.com for my complete Fractal Audio Masterclass series.